Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well, and welcome to the New York E-Prix. We're going to do a half length race here as usual, so 22, 22, 23 minutes, depending on where we are on the grid. Uh, Runner qualifier will replace 9th out of 22 cars. Let's get this underway and see how we go. This is a, um, it's a very close circuit, New York or Brooklyn. Um, not much opportunity to pass, and uh, there's no real room for mistake. Kind of reminds me of Monaco, not in the way the circuit is, um, or is laid out, but just the level of concentration you have to have when racing here. Oh, little love tap. Bogged down a little bit there in the first corner. Hopefully, the front of my car is just blue and not dark blue. Yep, just light blue, good. <clears throat> just want to try and get this first lap down, try and survive it. I think this is going to be a high attrition race, so I think we just need to survive, and we'll do quite well. As you can see, the, the barriers are very close. You've got to be very careful on the, uh, the ripple strips too on the insides. Don't cut them too close. You run straight into the concrete barrier. There's been a hit behind. Very tight hairpin there. As we come up to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal on the right, going to stuff that barrier. Oh, big hit there. That's got to have done some damage. That's what I mean. You've just got to try and survive here. Big lock up, big lock up. Did we get it? Yes, we did. So I've got the car set to 100 um, skill, 50 aggression, and I let them run a, uh, a 90 minute practice, uh, as well as a five lap qualifier before this. Um, one thing I think the guys, I would like to see the guys who've been doing these circuits work on is the, the real road. Um, it does it does rubber up, but um, you don't really notice it too much, and you certainly can't see it. it it'd be great to see them put more work into the uh, the real road texturing. Full lock there. The circuit itself, this circuit is 2.3 kilometres long. Um, it's not actually the the original circuit, so it's changed. It's actually changed. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Um, there's actually been three um, Brooklyn circuits. So the original proposal, which was put out before the 2017 uh, race, was not actually ever used. So. It looked a fair bit different. The only thing that was kind of there was the um, the main straight and uh, the section where the E village is obviously, but the the main straight hairpin actually was looked more like a bulb than a, a typical hairpin. Um, same length as the 2017 circuit though, like 1.94 kilometres, and I think the the actual circuit was 1.98 kilometres. Um, so there was a 2017 circuit, and then uh, and then we have got the current circuit, which uh, has the addition to stop talking. Has the addition to um, the main straight, so it's no longer a hairpin. There's the there's a section that takes you past uh, an extra set of grandstands. It's kind of like the box and now at the end of the straight. Oh, another accident. A little bit of attrition happening. Being far too cautious. <clears throat> right. Let's get this two hundred fifty kilowatts down. Bumpy back straight.
guess the main change this year was that the pits have been moved. So the pits are now um, running alongside Pier 11, which is which is where the start the start line is, um, and also the main grandstand. So the the spectators get to see you know twice the action there now. They actually get to see the cars coming into pits, um, whereas previously it was just there where the uh, where the E village is now. Be great to see the guys update this track to kind of replicate that. So yeah, pits are in there now. Oh, big lock up by me there. That was absolute nightmare. Big hit, big hit. I think all we're going to have to do is just stay off the barriers and we'll do well. This corner right before the um, right before the cruise terminal there can actually be quite very difficult. One of the most dangerous corners on the circuit. Just got to make sure you start off the barriers at all times. Well, that was horrible again. I, think I might need to move my braking marker out a little bit. fourth. I don't know if we're going to make top three if the guys up there don't make a mistake. Still one of my absolute favourite cars to drive in R-Factor 2. Such high levels of concentration needed all the time. You've really got to feel what the car's doing. You've got to be very careful with the rear because it wants to rotate all the time. It's been so tail heavy. Whew. Chicanes like that are just a disaster waiting to happen. Oh, that sounded like someone hit the barrier. Pig lock up on the left front there if you saw that. This is two and a half behind me. Oh, huge lock up there. Not feeling it through the wheel too much at the moment though. Feel a little tiny bit of flat spotting. Just unavoidable in this car though. Just with the balance. There is a slight bug on the track too. If you cut these curbs a little bit too close to the the smaller barrier on the inside, it will flag you as cutting the track. And with the new logic that's in place with our factor two, you will 
get a, um, a drive through. So you've just got to be very careful. It's nice to hit these curves, but you just don't want to push it too far. That was a little bit better. We were working away at him just slowly. I just want to stay off that barrier. Two point six, two point five seconds. Breaking a little bit earlier now. Probably notice my feet a little bit different to usual. I'm keeping my foot on the brake the whole time. Typically, if I'm racing any other car, I'll let it rest to the side. Just can't have that with this car. I think that these guys are getting very close to each other and kind of holding the uh, the third place up a little bit. Oh, I've had a couple of not too bad laps. The, um, those barriers there are kind of the braking marker, the visual braking marker for that corner. As soon as you see them, I kind of apply a little bit of brake and start turning in for the apex. Car stepped out on me a little bit then. Got to be very careful on that sweeping corner back onto the back straight. Makes the car want to slide. Okay, so we're down to 10 minutes. Under two seconds now, behind. Oof. That was a pretty decent run through there then. That did not want to turn then at all. Lost a heap of time there. Heap of time, almost back up to three seconds now. Mass is still there though. Three point eight seconds off me. So no heating issues with the car this time. Twenty degrees on track, um, and I'm running no blanking at all this time 250 kilowatts thought it wasn't uh, too good an idea to run any blanking here actually started to rain a little bit during qualifying so I was worried it was going to be super slippy which I don't think I've actually had a wet race in these cars yet I think it would be an absolute nightmare oh no, Michelin, Michelin was a wet race, that was horrible Okay, 
2.5 seconds. Wait a little bit back. really is kind of a case with these cars of slowing fast out just because of the way they're balanced Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eking away at him now. 2.2 seconds. Oh, messed that up. 2.4 seconds. Clip the barrier there. Oh. Tires are starting to get slippy here. It's quite a high, high uh, load circuit on the tires. A high speed run like that, and then straight into this hairpin. It's a lot of load on the tires. Rears are constantly wanting to rotate on you. Five minutes. Lost a lot of ground there. This is nearly five office though, so a little bit of breathing room there. Oh, oh. oh. Can't, can't catch a break here. It's 100% me though. It's not the circuit or the car, that's for sure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just got to starve the walls for a little bit longer. Okay, not bad, down to two seconds, under two seconds now. It's 
Could be a good run into this corner. Didn't let him put too much ground on me then, just put one of a second out of the hairpin. Still got him under under two seconds. A little bit of a dip there. Just come out of that hairpin. One point four seconds. One minute left. Come on, come on, come on. Still 1.4. The last uh, few corners were a little bit messy. Oh, that was it across the line. Oh, wow. Wow, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was full on. Uh, if you did, please hit the uh, please give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And I will be sure to upload more content. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks everyone. Bye.